Welcome to another episode of Cooking Mexican Style. Today we're going to be making guacamole and we're going to be making two styles of guacamole. The first guacamole is called guacamole de uña because it's cut very, very finely and we don't have to blend this in the blender or in the molcajete. The second one is going to be very similar, um, but this is going to actually be um, a classical style of guacamole that we can use on tacos, taquitos, different styles of food. So our ingredients are going to be tomatillo, which is our green tomato that we'll be using, and this one we'll be using, uh, cutting very finely. We'll be using cilantro. Um, we'll be using chile serrano, which is a very hot chili, so you want to pace yourself on how much chile serrano you want to put into this. We'll be using yellow onion, and orange juice, and lemon for the first one with some salt. The second one, we're going to do it Pretty similar, we're going to omit the orange and lemon, and then we're going to just put in a little bit of milk. The reason we put milk in is that we don't want to make, we want to make sure that it doesn't brown on us when we actually blend together. And we're going to be making the second one in the molcajete, and the molcajete is actually, my aunt used to call this the Mexican style of blender. And so this molcajete actually will use this and will blend this together and make it very soupy for the, the dish that we're going to be using this with. So today we have a special guest with us, and it is my cousin, Marta Olvido del Rio. She's visiting from Guadalajara, and she's going to be helping me here in the kitchen. And we're going to be making together these styles of guacamole. So, would you like to greet everybody? Hi. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> Dicing everything really, really well. Now we have our tomatillo, which is our green tomato, our cilantro, our chile serrano, our onion, and we're going to integrate it together. So what we do is we go ahead and take our green tomato, which is our tomatillo, and we put it into a larger bowl. We take our cilantro and we place all of our cilantro inside the bowl. We take our chile serrano. Remember, if the chile serrano, um, you don't want it too hot because chile serrano can be very hot. You want to take out all the veins and the seeds from it. Uh, it's really meant just to give a flavor. We put the onion in and then we go ahead and season. I recommend don't put too much salt at the beginning so that, because you can't take it away, of course, and go ahead and pay, put a pinch of salt in and you can adjust it afterwards. Then what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and do a lime, which is, we call this the lemon, and we're going to go ahead and mix this together, and we'll take our lemon, and we'll place a lemon in, a lime, and we're going to squeeze it in, and you just want to do one. You don't want either one of these flavors of the, the lime 
or the orange. So you're going to take an orange and we're going to go ahead and place the orange in. And we don't want each, either of these flavors to predominate um, the actual um, guacamole. Okay, you place that in here as such. And then at the end, you can go ahead and adjust your flavoring if you'd like. If you'd like more uh, lemon or lime, but you want it to balance. You don't want either one to be so dominating. Then we go ahead and we take some pomegranate. Um, you want to take some pomegranate, and the pomegranate gives a wonderful crunch and flavor to it. At the beginning, of course, you want to put just a short, small amount, and then you can continue to add more if you'd like. Then we go ahead and mix this together here as such. It looks really nice. Yeah, we just put a little bit more. I think you want the coloring to be just right in it, actually. Um, and then we can go ahead and taste it and see what, what the flavoring is like. So once we're done combining it, um, we wouldn't uh, ahead and put in more orange. You want to make sure again you balance out, you put enough salt in. You don't want it over salted, but you do want enough. At the end, we go ahead and we take our avocado and we place our avocado in there. You want to make sure and avoid the uh, mixing of too much because you want the avocado to be completely integrated. You don't want it to be mushed up or mashed up um, together. And you just give it a good mix and then you're pretty much done with your guacamole. Go ahead and get your chip, you place it on. Mm. 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 This is good stuff. It's amazing, the flavor is amazing. The orange, the lemon, you can taste the pomegranate inside and of course the avocado. This is a refreshing way of making guacamole and it's a hit at any party that you have.
So the only distinction for this other guacamole is that we didn't put lemon or lime in it. And again, you could decorate this and go ahead and get your pomegranates and place them on top and it makes a great guacamole. For your, any of your party celebrations, either one of these are a hit. The classic one is the one that we do regularly. And again, if you do not have a morcajete, you could do all of what I did and we can do that. You can do that in a blender. And the other one, you have to do that by hand and you have to dice that up. And it is amazing. The flavor is amazing. Thank you so much for watching and we hope to see you at, on our next video. If you like this video, go ahead and put a like and subscribe to our channel. Thanks very much and have a great day. Bye.